To understand the new creation, we have to go all the way back to the beginning. God created Adam and Eve in his image and likeness and put them in a garden. Now, there were many trees in the garden, including the tree of life, but God instructed them not to eat from one particular tree, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, also known as the tree of death. Adam and Eve rebelled or sinned against God by disobeying his instruction. They ate from the tree of death. Therefore, sin and death was infused into their nature. Consequently, they lost that nature or life and character of God. In their fallen state, Adam and Eve became the progenitors for the entire human population on earth. And that means every human is born in the fallen state of Adam and Eve. By one man's disobedience, many were made sinners with an inborn drive that rebels against the true God. The solution is that man must be recreated. So God began his program to recreate man by picking out a man named Abraham and eventually a group of people known as the Israelites. Now the Israelites, like all the rest of humanity, had the fallen or the sin nature passed on from Adam and Eve. So God gave them a set of laws, firstly to reveal to them their sin nature and their inability to live up to the standard of life that he expects of them. Ultimately, the purpose of the law was to show them that they need a savior who would also be the seed for a new creation. So God allowed animal sacrifices to atone or to cover up for their sin until the fullness of time, the seed for the new creation, the Lord Jesus came. Now Jesus died to sin, not just for Israel, but for all humanity to mark the end of the old sin ruled nature and rose from the dead to become the progenitor or source for the new race of people, the new creation born after his likeness. So when we come to him in repentance and submission, the old nature sold to sin being under the law dies so that the law now has no more power over it. We rise to a new life and are given the righteous nature of God and are filled with the Holy Spirit as a new creation, not subject to the law, but to the Holy Spirit. In the new creation, God inhabits the recreated spirit of the born again. It is Jesus living in his people. The soul, which is self-conscious, needs to be renewed to this truth so that the body can become a living sacrifice to the Lord.